Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Diamond Aircraft hangs out the Help Wanted sign. Boeing partners with Arion. And Intel drones light up Super Bowl 53. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to your edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. Diamond Aircraft hangs out the Help Wanted sign. After one year under new management and staff increases in 2018, the company is looking to employ more people this year, and production is expected to double. CEO of Diamond Aircraft Austria noted that they are ramping up production from 90 units to almost 200 units per year, which is more than double the volume. In 2018, they added more than 100 employees in Austria and are hiring more people from the local area. They are planning to increase the staff capacity from more than 600 to 800 for 2019. The Canadian branch of Diamond Aircraft is currently employing over 300. It is also growing and looking for workers. CEO Diamond Aircraft Canada said they are doubling production in 2019 to 150 units as global demand is growing. After adding more than 100 workers in the past year, they are hiring another 100 people in all departments in 2019. When we return, we take you around the patch. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. SpaceX ship Mr. Stevens is steaming towards Port Canaveral, where it will support several SpaceX missions planned for 2019. The ship's function is to capture the fairings that protect payloads from stress during launch. When it is time to deploy the payload, the fairings are jettisoned and fall to Earth. While many fall in the ocean, Elon Musk hopes to be able to catch the fairings in a huge net and reuse the $6 million components. Travel agency, airline company, and hoteler Corindon will have a complete Boeing 747 transported from the Amsterdam airport to Corindon Village Hotel this month, where the plane will be placed in the hotel's garden. For this mega job, a Dutch transport company will move the 150-ton plane in five days. During its journey, the 747 has to cross 17 ditches, Highway A9, and one provincial road. American Airlines Hangar 2 at Chicago O'Hare is now complete. Back on January 25th, the new structure was unveiled at the grand opening celebration. It is recognized as the longest clear span dual threshold airline hangar in the world. It has a dual access entry, which allows aircraft to enter and exit from either side. It has a larger capacity for aircraft hard stand positions, and this feature offers greater flexibility in servicing American's fleet. Orders for CFM International's two product lines again achieved near record levels in 2018, with the company booking orders for a total of 3,337 engines, including 126 CFM 56 engines and 3,211 LEAP engines. Since receiving the first orders in 2011, CFM has garnered more than 17,275 total LEAP installed and spare engine orders and commitments to date at a value of more than $250 billion at list prices. And that wraps up today's trip around the patch. When we return after the break, Boeing partners with Arion and NFL Drone Show breaks world record. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. 
It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Boeing announced a partnership with Arion. The deal is to accelerate technology development, aircraft design, and unlock a new market for supersonic air travel. Boeing will engineer, manufacture, and flight test resources to bring Arion's AS2 supersonic business jet to the market. Boeing will also provide strategic vertical content. The AS2 is designed to fly up to Mach 1.4. The supersonic jet will save about three hours on a transatlantic flight and will meet environmental performance requirements. It has the ability to fly up to 70% faster than today's business jets. The 12-passenger jet was designed in 2014 and the company unveiled the AS2's GE Affinity engine design back in 2018. The aircraft's first flight is projected to be in 2023. Boeing next works with industry partners and regulatory agencies to lead the responsible introduction of a new mobility ecosystem. The division's portfolio includes prototyping activities and programs that will shape the future of urban, regional, and global mobility. These programs include autonomous air vehicles and passenger carrying hypersonic aircraft. And our final story of the day. During Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta, Intel Corporation partnered with the NFL to create the first ever live drone light show for halftime. About two years ago, we were introduced to the Intel team as some of the drone light shows were starting to become popular. So as we thought about how to push things farther this year, we developed a custom lantern drone show that allows the drones to operate indoor in a closed system. When Maroon 5 broke out with their first hit song, She Will Be Loved, 150 shooting star drones floated up and over the field to form the words One in Love. The Intel enhanced drones for the show mimicked floating lanterns. The drones were also enabled to fly a pre-programmed path inside the stadium without the use of GPS. The number of drones flown indoors broke the world record, which was previously held by Intel when they flew 110 drones at the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. That wraps up our show for today. If you have a news story, send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you back on Monday for more Airborne Unlimited.